the 25th of April, 1982, like most Juventus fans in Turin, the Agnelli family and Juventus president Boniperti were at the Stadio Comunale. La formazione della Juventus è Zoff, Osti, Cabrini, Furino, Brio, Scirea, Marocchino, Tardelli, Bredi, Birdis. And with just four games from the end of the season, Juventus is tied in first place and needs every available point if they're to have a chance at grasping that second gold star. Calcio di rigore. E Bredi, incaricato del calcio di rigore. Brady sealed it clean, and millions of fans began to breathe again. Nothing was in the bag just yet, but Juventus had just beaten their arch rival and secured the precious points to keep pace. And after months of fighting their way to the top, the 20th championship was within reach. But while Boniperti was dreaming of that second gold star, Gianni was already laying in the foundations for the third with the secret signing of French sensation Michel Platini. After a long day of tough negotiations, Michel Platini was officially a Juventus player. He would be Juve's new number 10. Sono arrivato a Torino e ho firmato, nessuno sapeva niente e, e dopo io non conoscevo l'avvocato Agnelli, non ho mai sentito parlare dunque lui mi ha chiamato, no, Boniperti mi disse guarda c'è l'avvocato che ti vuole parlare chi? L'avvocato Agnelli, boh Boniperti hands Platini the phone and says Gianni Agnelli wants a few words Oui? Michel, welcome to Torino So you understand, we have to win everything Yeah sure, we'll, we'll try Remember? Slips sink ships. He just shrugged and handed the phone back to Boniperti. Thanks to some very sneaky phone calls by French journalist Eugene Sacomano, not 15 minutes after Platini's agreement was inked, the news hit the airwaves. Soon after, the Italian papers ran the headlines. Knowing he'd just been cut from next year's team, Liam Brady would still have to play his heart out for the last few games of the season. Brady wasn't disappointed. He was devastated. It all came down to the very last game. Brady. It seemed very likely that Juventus was headed for Marocchino. a scoreless tie. A fondo di Marocchino. In the game's dying minutes, the black and whites fire one off when a defender handballs it and the official calls a penalty shot. There were more than a few capable players that day, but the one stepping forward is Liam Brady. No question, Brady was the man for the job. But as the entire nation held its breath, many agreed that he had every right to kick the ball wide. Everyone knew it was Gianni who had insisted on signing Platini. The weight of the decision rested squarely on his shoulders. With the 20th championship title teetering in the balance, the referee blows the whistle. 